Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We talk and do all things military, fitness, mindset and nutrition. If you like it, then remember to subscribe. Today we're gonna to go through some boxing stuff. So at the moment there's no boxing on because of uh, COVID-19, but we can still keep sharp on the bag, uh, bit, bit of pad work and stuff like that, and um, stay fit as well. So. You've got general fitness, but then you've got a specific fitness to your sport, and obviously mine's boxing, so you've got to keep that specific fitness. Ticking over, keep the sharpness in the hands, work on defensive stuff, footwork and all that sort of stuff. So there's loads to be getting on with in this time. So let's do it. This is Kale Isaacs. Kale's a tire fighter, he's one of my friends, close friend, runs a, a cafe, and he's a very good personal trainer as well. How many fights have you had, Ken? About four fights. Um, four fights in wow. my first year of fighting so far. Four fights, four it's wins. Six. Oh, yes. Knockout with three knockouts? No, uh, no, one stop is oh, yeah. the rest where the distance is points. points. So the next Dominated. fight, yes, it won't be the case. <laughs> it won't be the case. Strong lad. <laughs> look, at these, look at these muscles there. <laughs> South African bread. Yes, in the blood. We push each other with our training, keep each other accountable. Every, obviously, I'm a boxer, he's a tire fighter. So it's a little bit different, but every now and then we'll come together, have a little spar, and just see where we are, what we've learned, and, and all that. So, good, Step out or? Yeah, or um, go for the pivot. Yesterday you should have been Have you found a crossover between the, the front line, serving the front line and being in the ring or? I think there's a massive crossover, um, especially, so I, I, I go to a club called uh, Venture Boxing Club, Birkenhead, some good pros there, you've got the likes of Ben Burnham, Masha Dodd, other good lads, Cam, Cameron Halfpenny, and because I'm trying to progress, I'm getting in, with, getting in the ring with those lads. And it's like, you almost like know you're gonna go in and get battered. And so you've got to have a certain mentality to keep going back every week and doing it and getting in the ring. And you know, after a few weeks, you start landing a jab that you weren't landing before, but it's taking you two, three weeks of getting battered to get your jab off or whatever. Mm. So you're like literally driving to training and knowing flip tonight I'm gonna get like beaten up in a, in a sense. And so it's very similar in, a lot of aspects to like, you know, I'm flying out to Afghan at the moment, potentially putting my life on the line. You know, lads, lots of lads have died out there and, and ladies and limbs blown off and things like that. And then you're out, you're on a plane or you're signing the papers to join the military knowing that that could potentially be you, yet you still go ahead with doing it. And I think the only way that you overcome fear is just by, by going, look, I'm petrified here but I'm going for it mm. so I, I get every time I get in the ring with like lads who are better than me I'm nervous I'm scared but I said to myself long ago um, if I get asked to spar I'm gonna spar I'm not gonna turn it down because the moment you start turning one down you turn two down you turn three down before you know it, you're not going you think that's just a mindset thing like training your mind to always have that response to embrace it I think so mm. I think uh, and the thing is as well you don't like a lot of people think like, oh, I'll never be able to do a 30 miler. Well, when I first joined Limston, if you put me on a 30 miler, I would have crumbled after 10 miles. But you build up because they build you up through thrashings, through exercises, through yumping. And by the time you get to 30, week 31, you do commando tests. You're so solid mentally. 
But I think we spoke about it last year. Like I went to do, we were doing our running training mm. and I'd lived off my reputation of I'm a Royal Marine, you know, tough as nails in my mind. And I got into those workouts on the track and I was wanting to quit and I was like having to fight that feeling of quitting so much. Like all the excuses coming out like, oh yeah, your knee or whatever and your mind starts trying to make you quit. And I've realized, oh my word, like I'm mentally weak and and the mind is just another muscle that you've got to continually work. The moment you stop working it, it becomes weak and it becomes soft. You know, you could be like, Royal Marines training is one of the hardest training in the world, longest training in the world. And you'd think, oh yeah, I can live off that forever. But no, if you don't, if you don't work on your mindset, you lose it. Mm. And that's something that doesn't get talked about much. Um, so I'm constantly now trying to, you know, I'm 30 years old, I'm constantly trying to find ways of how can I uh, how can I continue to make my make me solid in my mind? So boxing is one of those things, you know. People go like, "Oh, you must love boxing." Kind of, but I rather I I, I love the feeling of overcoming my fear or like, oh, I'm nervous to get in the ring. You get in the ring, you get you know whatever happens happens, and you get out and you're like, "Wow!" Well, even though I was fearful, I still did it. Mm. I, I like that feeling more than the actual boxing. And that's why they crossfit and do those those wads because they're disgusting and before you do it you're like this is gonna suck and then when you're in it you're constantly like oh I just gotta keep working gotta keep working gotta keep working grind it out rep after rep and that just creates a good mindset uh, so yeah a little bit of a insight into mindset cool <laughs> What do you think of people who say they're not scared of anything or, or feel no fear? One of two things. You're either a psychopath or you're lying. Because like, I've done things that people think, wow, that's really scary. And it is, and you, do, you are scared, but it's, you, your mindset becomes, I'm doing it anyway. I remember getting to Limpston for uh, Royal Marines train. I was petrified like, on that train. And then every, you know, every time you go back on base, you petrify us. When I go to Limpston now, you've still got like, nervousness about it. But you just crack on anyway, because what else are you going to do? You know, like, if I don't get in the ring or I don't do my training or I don't sign up to be, do the military, what, my life's going to be very, very small. And then no wonder people are struggling with lots of different, you know, like they, there's so much they want to achieve, but their fear won't let them. Well, if I let, allowed my fear to win, I wouldn't have done half the things I've done in my life. So for those who say they're not scared, they're either psychopaths or they're lying to you. I've been scared many times, but I try not to let that fear affect my decisions. Cool. And also there's been times where I have been scared and that fear has stopped me doing something. So I've, I've been a pansy and I've, I've went out. And then I live with that now. And it's like, oh, if only I could go back and stuff. So I don't, I want to have as few of those moments as possible when I get to like my 80s and go, well, no, I, I did everything regardless of fear. But yeah, there's been loads of times where I've been too scared to do something or too fearful and now I have to live with the consequences. So I don't want to have to live with that.